Oliver Purnell, yeah, coach, uh, head men's you? basketball coach. Uh, in the sport of football, men's basketball, and probably women's basketball, the agent question seems to be clouding our sport. And uh, that's something that can get some of our, our, our ladies and guys into, uh, 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 into trouble. Uh, just speak to our, our student athletes about how the NCAA looks at agents and some of the, uh, the pitfalls. Often when you're, when you're done, when you're finished up here, you, you may well have need for, and there's great utility for an agent, right? Somebody who can represent you and help you in that professional uh, interaction. And that's not a bad thing. And so we tend to all say, you know, we tend to talk about agents like they're all bad, awful human beings. They're not. There's a lot of them that, you know, they're doing a job. They're very useful. They're very important. They can be incredibly helpful as somebody that helps you when you move off into, into the professional ranks. But there's also a lot of agents, and this is a relatively new phenomenon, I think, Coach, and you could talk about it too, you know, meaning the past 20 years, but really the past dozen years or so, where, where there's people that look at student athletes as a lottery ticket, you know, and they, they, they may tell you they're deeply concerned about you as a person, and they may tell you that they know better what's in your interest than your coach. And, and the next thing you know, you've got a relationship with somebody that's not only against our rules. I mean, breaking our rules is bad, and it'll cost you your eligibility, and it'll get you in a lot of trouble. That's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is you can blow an extraordinary opportunity, one of the great opportunities that you might maybe have by listening to the wrong person, by being influenced to do things that don't make any sense. 